Hello again. I have some more video I filmed at the Kensington Dolls House Festival for you. And this was at a table of Nom de Plume, where they had this estate dolls house for sale. Or, well, by the time I saw it, it had already been sold. And it was a really lovely house with some beautiful contents. Although, personally, I don't care for the dolls. And I think they said that they sold the house and the contents separately from each other. I really like this garage, the building and the car and all the accessories in it. Um, it was just wonderful. I promised you last week I would show you some of the miniatures I bought at the Kensington Fair in more detail. And I showed you this one before. This is a, a rabbit in a box and it came from Veronique Lux. But I didn't show you the whole rabbit. Um, and I'm not sure why it is in a box. But um, maybe it's from a story. Alice in Wonderland perhaps? I'm not sure. But I really liked it so... I bought it and uh, there we go and the box is really pretty as well very pretty these are the colors I really like so so that's one and this little sheep is also from Veronique Lux and I showed you this as well um, I just really like these type of small let me try and get the lighting better. Small stuffed animals. I just, I can't resist them. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of, I'm not into um, kids' rooms and all that at all. Uh, or babies' rooms. I don't really care for them, although some of them are really good. But... Um, I do really like these animals and stuffed toys. And then I showed you this one as well, Country Treasures. Um, it's a posser, a copper posser. And a posser is um, something where they used to put the soap in the water for washing. And this, you agitate the water with it. And there are holes in there. So the water goes through the holes. And when you agitate the water, you create bubbles and, you know, how to, you know, to do the washing. 
I really like that. I've never seen that before in miniature. Um, so, Country Treasures. This might be one of my favorite pieces that I bought. And uh, this is by Shepherd Miniatures. Um, it's a filled first aid kit. kit. And, I mean, there's tape. And there's a, a book with, well, first aid tips, I guess. Antiseptic cream, more tape. <laughs> I really like this. Scissors and uh, band aids, individual band aids. Where are they? Get over here. There's the box, but they're also individual band aids. <laughs> I think that's just so much fun. Uh, more tape. And what else is there? There's some more in the bottom. And I'm just thinking, you know, someone has to make all this. And this box is £7.99. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, it's real tape. It's even sticky. And there's um, that's just so much fun. First aid handbook. That's what it's called. But I mean, having to roll that, um, and cut it all up, and those boxes. That's to me, it seems like a lot of work for only seven ninety nine. But um, yeah, I really like that. And these are also from Shepherd Miniatures. These are the Sandcastle buckets, and I suppose they're three D printed, but they're so much fun. And not sure what I'll do with them. I just really like them. There's a little um, what is that called? Shovel. I have to try them out. Hmm. Really like that. I suppose I'll just put them in the garden somewhere. I do have a children's room after all, so there might be a kid playing in the garden. So, just so much fun. And again, really not expensive at all. And these are the little plant pots I bought, also from Shepherd Miniatures. And again, just regular everyday items, but I just really like them. And uh, I suppose I'll put those in the garden as well. And here are the more expensive items I've bought. And these are all from Mike Sparrow. Beautiful little tray, footed tray. That's so beautiful. Beautifully made. Very, very fine. And there's another one, which is a lot smaller. I think this is the one that was used to present the, um, the calling cards on. So the butler would take your card at the door and go in and say there's a visitor and present you with the card. And uh, then you could just accept or deny. I'm not home. That's what Mike Sparrow said. <laughs> we were we were talking about that. I knew that, but uh, uh, he was telling us the story. And then here I have for the bedroom I'm working on, or I'm going to be working on. I have a little ink stand. And there's a candle. I don't know if I can put the candle in. No. But anyway, there's a beautiful little ink stand. 
There's a feather. Where's the feather? I lost the feather. I don't know where it is. Um, it's in. It's over here somewhere. Maybe on. Well, I'll find the feather. Feather, of course, goes in there. Uh, that again, little footed tray. Really beautiful. And then I also bought this beautiful basket. Is that in focus? I don't know. Look at that. So pretty. Uh, and I had my eye on this for years already. And um, I thought the next time I'm going to Kensington, that this is what I'm going to buy. So I did. I really like that. Look at the handles. And I have something which is a bit similar from Jens Torp. But also it's very different. And I'll show you that another time. Uh, this one is much smaller and um, not as ornate as the other one, but it's so pretty. Then also, what I forgot to show you are, I guess they, they were somewhere in my suitcase still. By Janice Crawley, here's the card. Ceramic miniatures. And I also, I have a soft spot for these kind of things. Look, a little picture, blue and white. Ah, look at that. Love that, really love that. This one will go in the kitchen, of course, with, I think, with the other blue and white things. There's two people sitting. I really like that one. And the other ones are different. They're all different. This one is for the kitchen of my first canal house, where I have a few terrines. So this one is a cow, as you can see. Um, I think that's a very Dutch thing. So really like that one as well. Um, here's another teapot. And oh, I'm not getting this. Of course, the lid comes off. And I have a small collection of these type of teapots um, and I really like them so that one I have to fix the handle and then here's a little uh, I don't know what does that say five pounds with um, bunnies and I think again this will go in the kitchen I think with the terrines and there's more I haven't, haven't seen, even on that piece yet here's another terrine again for the kitchen of my first canal house. And I have a similar one, which I painted myself. Um, but I like these things. I'll have to put the lid on better. Yeah. I think they're so cute. Um, oh yeah. A redwood teapot, a jasperware style, which I thought was very fun. So that is for my second canal. 
And then the last one, a beautiful swan, Doreen. I just, I have a weakness for these things, just like the, the stuffed animals. These, this type of, these type of ceramics, I just, I really like them. And in miniature, of course, you can just, you know, collect them and you can put them everywhere. But, yeah. So, there. Yeah, I really love these. I'm I'm so glad I bought several of them. And I guess um oh I, I don't know which one is my favorite. I do really like the picture and the swan and the cow. Yeah, I suppose those are my favorites. Did I say teapot for this one? It's a cookie jar, of course. Um what was I thinking? It doesn't have a spout. Of course, it's a cookie jar. And the cheese and the um, uh, the cow actually is a cheese cover. I think I said it was a tureen, but it's not. It's a cheese cover. Doesn't matter. It's just yeah, very very fun. In the comments of my previous vlog, Beth said she loved long videos about miniatures. So, well, Beth, your wish is my command because this video is going to be much longer than normal. And um, here I have the last miniature I'm going to show you of the things I bought at the Kensington Fair. And then I have some other things to show you. Um, and actually, I have more video footage left uh, which I'll have to show you yet another time. For now, I'm going to show you these wonderful boots by Valeria from, from Grafia Luna. And as I said in my last video, I realized that I didn't have any shoes by her. And, uh, and I bought these boots. And normally, I don't really like bows and frills and stuff on shoes that's just not my thing but um even though these boots have tassels and bows i really like them and gold as well goodness me i really like them and um i would even wear these although they're not entirely my style i really like them so there's the other one and they have beautiful heels um, and nice gold. There we are. Yep. <laughs> On Saturday morning, my friend and I went to Portobello Road and Portobello Market and we saw some really lovely things and um, lots of antique shops there. The market itself was not too interesting, uh, lots of jewellery and um, well more touristy stuff but the shops inside there were some arcades and I think they're called arcades. Um, and shops you could go into and they were more interesting and I visited this shop called um, Atlam where they had the most wonderful copper molds and pots and pans which I really loved but I also found some salt glazed pudding molds and um, one in particular drew, drew my attention and um, I did actually buy something. So, let me unpack this. And I did have to think about it a little bit because it was quite a lot of money. 
but I really liked it, so... I decided to buy it anyway. There we are. And it may not look like much to you, but I think it is wonderful. It is a salt glaze mold from, I think he said 1730. I have it written down somewhere. I think it was 1730. And uh, I think it's fantastic. You don't see many of these small ones. And uh, I really like it. And it will go on top of one of my kitchen cabinets. And it's a little bit big for a 12 scale maybe, but I don't mind. There, you know, big molds also exist. I just really liked it. So I got it. And then on Sunday morning, we went to another antique market, which was an indoor venue and we had to pay a small admission fee. But it was fun, and I didn't take any video footage of that market except for this. And I ended up not buying them because it was just a little bit too expensive for me. But I did find some other pieces and I found this. It was my first purchase and the lady who sold it wasn't sure what it was for. And um, she thought it might be a Vesta case, or not a Vesta case, but for, you know, striking matches at the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure. It does have... A number, 26, no clue what it means, but I really liked it and um, it was 10 pounds and yeah, that was fine by me. I really like that. Also, slightly big maybe, but I don't mind. And in the garden that will look great. And the next thing I found was this uh, picture and I think that will be great for um, flowers or also slightly big and this is the Coalport one it says here Coalport made in England and uh, I really liked it and it was five pounds so that was pretty good I really like that. And then the other thing I found was this. A silver mirror. Now that is a great size and it has a beveled edge. And it is Hallmark silver. There are some of the Hallmarks. There's some more. And again, I can't remember by heart what uh, it was, whether it was Birmingham or Sheffield. I can't remember. But it's, I really like it. Yeah, happy with that. And then I found a few more items which I didn't buy. Uh, there was a wonderful uh, basket which was used for catching crickets, I believe, or keeping crickets. Um, what else? Um, some lovely picture frames and miniature books, which were, again, slightly big, but really nice. And... A small hand mirror, again, was slightly too big, but, but um, it was fun because it did show your entire face. So it had a special mirror in it. 
But all of these pieces were wonderful, really wonderful, but a little bit too, too much for my budget. So I didn't buy them. So that was a small impression of my wonderful week in London this year. And I leave you with these beautiful houses uh, on a small street near uh, Portobello Market. And I'm showing you this because that middle house is clad in beautiful flowering wisteria. And that's something I've always wanted to do on the back of my canal house, but I haven't done that yet. So this is my inspiration and I hope to do it soon. It will be a lot of work though. <laughs> Until next time!